Tommy Mania fans and welcome to another video. Um, my name is Kayla for those of you who are new here and um, today, thank God it's Friday, it's finally Friday. Uh, it's been kind of a long week. Um, my husband's been helping his brother get crops out. Um, today a cold front went through and I had to turn the furnace on and wearing sweatshirts on top of it because it's cold. Um, <clears throat> our dryer broke for the last time and we were done repairing it so I had to get a new dryer and put that in. Did that myself because hubby was out helping his brother. Um, long nights with kids tonight or this week so anyway. Um, Probably would have reported earlier and posted earlier if it wasn't such a hectic week. But here we are. Um, it's Friday and it is <clears throat> um, it's a good day. Um, today I want to talk about um, how we love our kids. I got to thinking about it and um, I have uh, one daughter. Um, she is going to be six here in just a few weeks, and my son, um, he is one and a half. Um, I used to want three kids, but after my rough pregnancies and um, having some um, fertility issues and miscarriage issues, we decided to stop it too, since we have one of each. Um, I love them equally. They both have my heart, same amount of my heart, but I love them in different ways, if that makes sense. Um, so my daughter, for instance, I, you know, she was my whole world for a few years until we had my son. Um, she made me a mommy and she, she is my, she's my little girl. I mean, we get to do girly stuff together and um, she, is um, finding interests in some of the things that I have interests in, so we're able to connect that way. And then my son, I have that stereotypical mother-son relationship with him, and he is my baby boy, and he is a spitting image of his dad. So I, uh, <clears throat> I see, when I see pictures of my husband when he was John's age, I, <clears throat> I immediately go, oh my God, that looks so much like John. That looks like our son. So um, we have that connection too. Uh, my daughter looks like me when I was little. So essentially I just made copies of ourselves. Um, but, but yeah, um, and I think that's okay uh, to love your kids differently um, as long as you love them both the same amount, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does, if I confuse you. Um, you know, leave a comment and I'll try to explain better. Um, but yeah, it's okay to love your kids differently because they are different people. Um, just like, you know, when you were growing up, I'm sure you liked one of your parents better than the other <clears throat> or got along with them better or, you know, connected with them better. So you loved both of your parents, but you know, you, you loved them differently because of their roles. Um, for an example, so, um, or grandparents even, or aunts and uncles, or, you know, uh, some of your close friends, or, you know, nieces and nephews, you love them all, but you love them differently and for different reasons. So, um, just, um, <clears throat> just talking about how that is okay, um, you know, some people might have an issue with it, and I'm sorry, but, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. Um, I don't love them any less than the other. <clears throat> like I said, I love them both the same amount, just in different ways. Um, and yeah, it's okay to do that. It's okay to love your kids differently. Um, so, I mean, my, <clears throat> my kids will probably both do a lot of the same hobbies. Um, especially ones that my husband and I already do. Um, like we like to go fishing in the summertime and my daughter has been fishing um, and she likes it. Um, she, she enjoys coming with us when we go do archery shoots. Um, she also likes having mommy daughter time with me. 
um, when we paint nails and do makeup and I do her hair and you know we we do mommy daughter stuff or we bake um, my son also likes to bake and he likes to be we don't paint his nails or anything but he likes to be included too in um, in that kind of special time where you know we sit and we're together and um, he also yeah like I said he likes to bake um, I give the kids each tasks to do um, when I'm doing an easy recipe you know for the family and stuff <clears throat> and they love it and um, let's see what else do we do you know we we go on walks together and all that stuff but um, I do like it when I can spend individual time with my kids too um, it's kind of hard right now just because you know my husband is busy with other things at the moment but we're hoping to get back into our routine once the crops are picked so then you know each of us can have you know our our Alyssa time or our John time so that way it, it is a little more special for them too and you know they like the one-on-one -on -one attention <coughs> excuse me I had a frog in my throat um, so yeah, that is kind of nice too to get to um, spend time with each of them separately and do things that you know they enjoy too, and you know really hone in on that because you know that that builds a strong relationship with your kids and you know they they really feel special and um, I know when my son came along, um, my daughter was so happy that she was a big sister and she loves her baby brother but she also felt neglected um, in the first few months when John was baby baby and he took a lot of our time you know feeding around the clock changing around the clock you know um, I didn't have a whole lot of energy to get up and play with her so she kind of connected with my husband because he was more freer than I was since I chose to breastfeed and all that. Um, but then, too, my son, um, he, <clears throat> he likes the attention. He likes being the youngest one. Um, he, he's a little mischievous munchkin and he will get into trouble to steer attention away from my daughter. And I've noticed that especially lately. Um, but with me being home now and doing in-home daycare, I, I am able to spend a little more time with him. Um, you know, when it's, a, when it's not such a hefty day with all the kids, it is a little nicer. Um, then I am able to spend a little more one-on-one -on -one time with him, like I did with Alyssa when she was the only child. Um, because she is in school during the week so that helps but um, yeah I mean you know I love both my kids but I love them both differently and that is okay because that's how our how our family works and that's uh, the best way it functions and you know both kids benefit um, because you know they they are loved you know by both parents and they are loved um, and they love doing things with um, daddy and I together and separately and all as a family and all that so um, so yeah I'm you know it's kind of a ramble session today and um, those are kind of fun to do every once in a while just kind of get your thoughts out kind of a brain dump kind of thing so yeah um, Tell me how many kids you have, if you have any kids, if you want kids, um, you know, if you have multiple siblings and you love them differently, please leave a comment below and let me know um, if you have any questions, concerns, um, any suggestions for future shows, go ahead and leave a comment in the description box. Uh, make sure you go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it and um, subscribe if you want to see more videos. We kind of cover everything on this channel. Um, my uh, subscribers and past viewers can probably tell you um, it's not just for mommies either um, I called it mommy mania because I'm a mommy and life is 
you know, can drive you and it's mania. Um, but yeah, and then make sure you hit the little bell icon. Um, so you know when I post, I, sure, I do try to post every Friday. Um, I might post more often here for a little while because I was off due to my son's surgery. Um, so I had taken some time off of posting videos, so I am trying to catch up a little bit. But um, most every Friday and then sometimes a random video if I have time. So yeah, um, we will see you guys next time. Bye.